When baking clumping modifiers in XGen, the most common issue is the warning that says, zeroing a pixel in map. When this happens, sometimes it can take quite long for XGen to process. We will use a simple scene to look deeper into this issue first. In this description, I have two clumping modifiers. Clumping one is using guide as point. In a clumping map setup, each yellow line will tell XGen to color that area as a solid color. Just like the region map. After hitting save, a clumping map is baked. We will visualize this later. The clumping 2 modifier is using generate as points. Currently it has a low amount of points. This is usually what's causing the warning message to show up. When this happens, it can cause XGen to process and you will not able to refresh your XGen primitives. Ideally, your secondary clumping modifiers should have a denser amount of points than the first clump. To look into the issue closer, we can visualize it through the p-text viewer. Let's take a look at our clumping 1 map. Everything looks good as expected. Each clump point is baked with a solid color. There is no issue here. Let's visualize the R clumping 2 map. Right away, we can spot the black areas in our clumping 2 map. When we open up the setup map for clumping 2, we can see that the yellow lines aren't present in the black areas. That's what is causing the zeroing pixel in map issue. There are two ways you can address this issue. First, while you have the setup map window open, middle mouse click in the black area to add a point. When all black area has a yellow line, XGen will be able to process each section of the map properly. You can see when we bake the clumping 2 again, there is no more warning messages. If we visualize the clumping 2 map again, you can see now that all the black areas are filled with a solid color properly. However, if you regenerate the clumping map, the points you manually added will be gone again. Please be aware of this. The second option would be to increase the density points. Ideally, the secondary clump should always have a higher density clump points. They need to be high enough to be able to subdivide the first clump further. Let's try increasing the density so we have more yellow lines. Looks like it's still not high enough. Let's increase it even further. With higher density in the clump points, our clumping 2 is now properly baked without issues. If we check the p-text map, we can see that there are no missing spots. I do feel the secondary clump is a bit too high now, let's lower the density slightly. In hairstyles where the clumping modifiers requires high density in control points, adding in clumping point manually might not be a good solution. When the control point density is high, trying to find all black spots and manually add a control point will be very time consuming. There could be dozens, or sometimes, even hundreds of missed pixels. I have speed up six times, and there are still missing pixel found. As you can see, this is not an ideal solution. In this case, increasing the density so enough points is covered will be a better option. I hope you like this video. Thank you for watching. Smiley face.